Hey guys, HDV here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we've got quite a few things to go over for Pokemon and Nintendo in general. We have some new Pokemon Home updates to take a look at regarding the sprites and as well as that we have some new potential Nintendo Direct rumors to take a look at as well as a lot of stuff to break down and get into today. So if you're excited for the video, as always, make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes, it does really help out. Leave a comment with your thoughts on anything we cover in today's video. Subscribe if you're brand new for daily Pokemon content ring the notification bell with all of that out of the way though let's get into the video and i really hope that you enjoy so starting things off let's take a look at these pokemon home updates so this was tweeted out by lutu so massive shout out to them for finding this information but they said recently we discovered that over 70 pokemon home icons were silently replaced in the indigo disc update so Obviously, we had the Pokemon Home update when the Indigo Disc DLC dropped to allow the, uh, the, the, obviously, the transfers of Pokemon from Pokemon Home into the Indigo Disc DLC. But as well as that, a lot of sprites also got updated, and some for the better as well. They do look a lot more polished, and they just look a lot nicer now as well. So this is the first row here. So this was the 3.1.0 update. So we have Venusaur, Tentacool, Ho-Oh, and Hitmontop. And then in the 3.2.1 update, as you can see, they look a lot different. So Venusaur looks a lot better, like the colors look better, the shading looks better. Uh, Tentacles changed a lot as well, I think that looks better. Ho-Oh, I mean, I think I like the original sprite, but, you know, it's still obviously another Pokemon that's changed. And then Hitmontop has also changed as well, I think I like Hitmontop's more um, in the new update too, but... Like I say, over 70 different Pokemon have had their home icons updated, and I feel like more will get updated as well as... Um, the kind of year progresses and stuff, but that's the kind of like first row. We also have this row as well. We have Porygon 2. As you can see, the colors have, have changed and everything for, for Porygon 2 um, and looks a lot better in my opinion. And then also Tyrogue has changed as well. Uh, Regigigas hasn't really changed too much. I think there's a little bit of shading, maybe a little bit of line movement as well. And then Deoxys has also changed um, as well. So it, like I say, it wouldn't surprise me if they update a lot more sprites um, in the future. Colors, almost all poses, perspective, and especially shading were changed. Changed. Some Pokemon like Regirock even simplified with the spikes on its back no longer being visible. So we have the Blastoise change here as well. Uh, we have the Torchic change and then yeah, as you can see, uh, Regirock's old sprite had this like little kind of spike in the back here and it's just gone on the uh, on the new sprite. I think I definitely like Blastoise's original sprite more but like I say, it's one of those things really. Like they're, Some are going to look better, some aren't going to look better. And then we also have this one as well. Some of the pose changes are probably for the better, uh, but overall uh, I'm not a fan. So yeah, like I say, Keldeo has also changed here as um, well. So uh, so what's the prevailing theory behind this? I was under the impression these sprites were just the Scarlet and Violet party sprites. Did they get updated in Scarlet and Violet as well, or are these sprite updates exclusive to home? Pretty sure none of the changed Pokemon were in Scarlet and Violet before this update. So... Um, yeah, like I say, the, the, there's a little video here as well of like small changes with you can see the line movement and stuff from Regigigas. But yeah, just um, just kind of updates on the, the kind of general sprites and, and stuff for Pokemon Home. And like I say, I'm sure they'll do more um, as the year goes on. Whenever there's a Pokemon Home update, some sprites may potentially get changed. But yeah, 70 of them got changed secretly when the Indigo Disc dropped. And like I say, nobody even really saw it. Uh, until like Lutu made this post. So yeah, shout out to Lutu for finding that. I also wanted to quickly go over this as well. This is Light here talking about potential Mega Evolutions in future games. So uh, do you want Megas back in the next Switch games? We have home icons already waiting for us. So this isn't like something brand new. We've had home icons for a while for Mega Evolutions, but I don't think we're going to be seeing any Mega Evolutions until uh, the Generation 6 um, remakes in a few years. Like... We've obviously got most likely going to be Gen 5 remakes um, this year or Gen 2 remakes. If we get Gen 2, I highly doubt they'll be in those. Like in BDSP, we didn't get Mega Evolutions. That was the game where you could expect to see them just simply because um, it's like an old game and there's obviously Pokemon in that game that have Mega Evolutions. But obviously, we didn't get them in those. Uh, we do have Mega Evolutions in like spin off games and side games and stuff. Like, obviously, Mega Evolutions are in Pokemon Go. Um, we had Mega Evolutions in the Mystery Dungeon Remaster. Um, so they are kind of still implementing Mega Evolutions into different games. It just seems for the main series games, I don't think we're going to be seeing Mega Evolutions. I don't think we'd see them in Gen 10 either. I think we're just going to get a brand new gimmick every year. The only time I think we're going to see old gimmicks is probably in remakes and stuff like that. But yeah, even though we do have the home icons and stuff ready and waiting for them. I mean, I don't know why Ash Greninja is in there. Ash Greninja is just kind of on its own different path. But yeah, even though we've had all of these sprites and stuff, I just, I just don't think that we're going to be getting Mega Evolutions anytime soon. Hopefully I'm wrong. And like I say, they are still adding them to other uh, other games, but from where I'm standing, it just doesn't look like we're going to be seeing them anytime soon, especially not in the next Switch games. But hey, if it's Gen 5 remakes and they're like faithful remakes, 
potentially they could have them. Um, just like we had them in Let's Go Pichu and Eevee. But anyway, that's all the Sprite stuff, the Pokemon Home stuff. Let's move on to this new Direct Rumor. So obviously we covered a Direct Rumor the other day in which um, the Zippo, uh, kind of inside a person, said that we were going to see one in the end of January or at some point in January. And it wasn't going to concentrate on the Nintendo Switch 2. And instead it was going to kind of clear up and tie up a lot of loose ends and kind of just be a massive kind of... Um, a little bit of a love letter to the Nintendo Switch and just finish all the, yeah, like I say, all the loose ends and stuff. So we had Zippo saying that in January. However, though, we now have a different person saying the next Direct is going to be in February 2024. So one of these people is going to be wrong. So we have Go Nintendo tweet here saying, Rumor, next Nintendo Direct could be coming in February 2024. So this is the information about this February Direct. So obviously, if we don't get one in January... Um, then, yeah, this one is very... I mean, we always get a direct in February anyway. I think the January one is more unlikely. But again, there are leakers saying that they are expecting the next Switch to be revealed by the end of March. So maybe that's why they drop a direct in January, have a month off, and then obviously have the, the new Switch announced. But, I mean, at the same time, you, you don't really know. Like, if, if we do get the January direct, then we already kind of know what's going to be in it because of what the Zippo person said. But either way, this is the information about a potential direct in February. And again, this isn't crazy to kind of predict. Like, th these aren't people that know inside information that much. Like, obviously, some of them do. But, I mean, anybody can predict a Nintendo Direct in, like, February because we always have one. It's like predicting a Presents in February for Pokemon. Like, we're always going to get one because it's Pokemon Day. But, anyway, let's just go over this anyway. There might be a little bit of information about what we might potentially see in the Direct. So, it's usually a pretty safe bet that Nintendo will come out with a new Direct presentation at some point early in the year. That bet seems to be a little safer now as Gaming Insider Jeff Grubb has indicated that one is likely to occur next month. This bit of information comes from one of Giant Bomb's latest Twitch streams. During the stream, Grub says you can always count on a Nintendo Direct in February. It is almost certainly going to happen in February again. So it's just a very safe bet. It's not really going into detail about what we're going to be expecting to see. I, I, I mean, Jeff Grubb is a gaming insider. They do know information from time to time. But this is, like I say, it's a very safe bet. Anybody can say we're getting a Nintendo Direct in um, February. But yeah, Jeff Grubb has also been the source behind some juicy uh, Nintendo rumors in the past. And of course, some rumors pan out while others don't. However, this one just seems like common sense as Nintendo has shown a pattern of featuring a Direct in February in recent years. Hopefully, it won't be too long before we get more info on this year's slate of games. The thing is, though, if we don't get one in January, that means that Zippo was incorrect, which means that the Direct in February, if we do get one, potentially could have information about the Nintendo Switch 2, um, because obviously that would be before the end of March, and like I say, the one that Zippo is talking about would be the one where we just have like stuff about old Nintendo Switch games and like remasters and stuff and about the Peach game um, and things like that. But obviously, if that doesn't turn out to be true, then the direct content may also be different as well. So if we get one in January, probably not going to have any Nintendo Switch 2 stuff. If we get one in February, it's a bit more likely that we get some Nintendo Switch 2 stuff. Because again, the console is stated to coming out this year. So they're going to need to announce it sooner rather than later, just so they have obviously people knowing about it so they can obviously get ready to, to obviously buy the new console but either way that's just a Nintendo Direct rumor it's not really a rumor though it's pretty much guaranteed at this point that we are going to be getting one but either way that is going to be everything for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed if you did please do consider hitting the like button down below it really really does help out let's try and hit 500 likes uh, what are your thoughts on the different home update sprites did you notice any other updates uh, to the sprites in Pokemon Home when the Indigo Disc dropped I definitely didn't but um, let me know if you uh, if you did uh, also, what are your thoughts on Mega Evolutions? Would you like to see them in the next Pokemon games? Do you think we're going to get them in the Pokemon game again? Or do you think they're just going to save them for Gen 6 remakes? And even if we get them in Gen 6 remakes, it's hard to tell if we're even going to get brand new ones. Um, because, like, why wouldn't they have been in the original game? So it's, it's going to be one of those. It depends if it's a faithful remake or not. So same with Gen 5. If, if it's like Black and White 3... And you never know, maybe there are Mega Revolutions. I just, I just think it's very unlikely at this point. But either way, let me know your thoughts on that. And then also, the Nintendo Direct stuff. What month do you think we're going to see one in? Like I said, we've covered two different rumors now. One saying January, one saying February. The January one actually going into the contents of the Direct. And the February one is just a bit of a guess. Um, so let me know your thoughts on when you think we're going to see the Direct. Also, what do you think we're going to see in the Direct? And what would you like to see in the Direct as well? But either way, thank you so much for watching. Uh, have a fantastic rest of your day. And until next time, peace.